Hi, I'm Sheila Graves, CEO of Simply Violin and a violin dealer for 30 years. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the tailpiece. We're going to remove this tailpiece. <clears throat> this is a uh, Whitner brand tailpiece. These are made of a composite material and they are wonderful for students uh, who are learning to tune for the first time. And they're also very helpful for teachers who have a lot of students where they need to tune many instruments. But in this case, we're going to remove the tailpiece with the built-in tuners, and we are going to install this rosewood tailpiece with just the one fine tuner for the E string. So I'm going to start by removing the old tailpiece. And that's quite simple. I just loosen the pegs. And I might mention, uh, as you may have noticed, I've already taken the chin rest off the violin. And now I'm removing the strings. Actually, I'm taking out the bridge. Now, one thing to be very careful of in this process is I'm being careful not to bump or jar the violin, because if I do, there's a chance that the sound post could move or fall down, and I don't want that to happen. The bridge, of course, did come off. On this violin, it has very soft varnish, so you can see exactly where the bridge was sitting, and that will help me when I go to put the bridge back up once we get the new tailpiece on. The other thing I want to mention is the end pin here, or the end button. Um, it's a little bit of a loose fit in this violin, and it's going to want to pull out. So when I'm installing the new tailpiece, I want to really keep my eye on that so that it doesn't pull out when I'm installing the new tailpiece. I want to make sure it's, it's pushed all the way in. So here we have the new tailpiece. It already has the fine tuner added. And uh, it's already got the tail gut installed. As you can see, the tail gut here is adjustable. It's got these brass nuts. And you just adjust the length of the tailpiece wire by turning the screws uh, clockwise to tighten or to make the tail get shorter or counterclockwise to loosen or to make the tail wire longer. So what I want to do right now is just check the length. So I pull that all the way through and I loop the tail wire around the end button and I'm just checking it and it's about where I want it. See if I can make this just a little bit longer. I'm going to loosen these just a little bit. And I'm going to check it one more time. Again, making sure that I'm pushing the end button in while I'm doing that. And I think that's good. So I'm ready to do the install, but before I do that, what I'm going to do is push the tail wire through so that the ends are showing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a lighter, I'm gonna burn the ends of the tail wire. What that will do is that will melt the plastic and it will cause it to flatten out, which will help avoid the uh, tail piece from slipping through. So I just take my lighter and I burn the end. And as you can see, it's kind of gotten wider there. And I'm gonna do that on both sides. And I want to make sure that there's nothing um, still melting or burning before I put it on the violin. And you can generally tell when it's cold to the touch that it's safe to install on the violin. Pull the tail wire back through. Loop it around the end button. And now I've got this set so that the tail piece is just on the other side of the saddle. That's kind of where I like to set them, but they could be adjusted to different spots. Uh, they can be up further, uh, depending on where you want the after length of the string, which is the after length is the distance um, between the strings at, at the fret here and the, uh, the bridge, where they meet at the bridge. 
some makers and luthiers have a have a little bit different idea on tailpiece placement, but this will kind of get you in the ballpark for where you want the tailpiece positioned. So I'm going to take my strings and put them into the tailpiece. I'm going to start with the G string here, which I need to loosen a little bit. I'll just simply stick it in, and I want to make sure that I've got it pulled um, towards the end of the slot here, rather than just sort of hanging out in the hole. I want it pulled through like that. I'm going to tighten that a little bit. I'm going to also do the same thing with the E string. I'm going to insert the E string into the fine tuner and then tighten it up just a little bit. And I'm also being very careful not to let the fine tuner come in contact with the top of the violin because that could scratch it. And now I'm ready to set the bridge. So this is nice and easy. You can see exactly where the bridge was setting. And I put the bridge in place. Now this in button keeps wanting to pull out, so I'm continually checking it and making sure that I've got it pushed all the way in. And now I'm going to put the other strings on. I'll do the D string here. Make sure it's lined up with the notches. And then the A string. Just slip it through. Tighten the strings a little bit. Now, as you can see, the bridge is a little bit off kilter. Now is where I need to watch several things at once. I need to make sure that the end button stays pushed in. I also want to make sure that the uh, tailpiece is where I want it positioned on the saddle. And then I also want to make sure that the bridge is straight and where it's supposed to be. Now, as I start to, uh, tightening the strings, the top of the bridge is going to want to pull forward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep carefully with both hands, gently pulling it back. It's going to become harder and harder to do as I bring the violin up to pitch. So, And one thing to mention, when you are tuning a violin, it's kind of a good idea to keep it away from your face so that if a string does break, you minimize the risk of hurting yourself. Okay, and making sure that the bridge is straight, what I'm doing is I'm just looking at the back side of the bridge just to make sure that it's straight up and down. I want it uh, straight up and down. The front side should be uh, slanting towards the back a little bit. And I'm ready to finish tuning. I'm tuning a little bit sharp because everything is going to go flat here. Check it to make sure it's straight. I'm checking it on both sides. And there you have it. It's just that simple. Mm -hmm.